Hey guys, how are you today? Today's on schizophrenia and reality. Schizophrenia and the fabric of my reality. But before we get to reality, please allow my brief prelude. As you know, I've conveniently recorded it for our mutual comfort, our mutual convenience, and our mutual luxury. And I've been around a few preludes in my years, and this one is particularly luxurious. Kind of like a uh, Buick or a faux mink. Yeah, sounds like this. Hold on a sec. Hello there, my name is Robert Francis. You've stumbled on my Unconquering Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Hey. Where me and the bird. Hey. That's right, that's right. We talk schizophrenia. This is the cut of my jib right here for reasons of my medical confidentiality. I hear my jib. I'm a licensed clinical social worker times my, 15 years. My jib. That's a lot of gabbing and chatting. I've been diagnosed with schizophrenia for a score five and one. And that puts a little gray fleck in my beard. I don't mind your request. Thank you for joining me on my channel. Now to topic, to topic, to topic. I used to say I don't mind Gray Fleck. Now I say I like Gray Fleck. Soon it'll be uh, fully gray without Fleck. All right, today is on the fabric of reality. Is reality objective or subjective is the question. Um... To this day, uh, if, you, if you come through all of the annals of metaphysics, we will find that there has been no determined objective reality. It remains the holy grail, above all, is a unified uh, metaphysics. And that was Einstein's great uh, pursuit. He, uh, he wanted to know the exactness of the universe. He came very close in a lot of ways. But he wanted to find out the ultimate exactness of the universe, um, and he did so mathematically, and most people pers uh, pursue it mathematically. But there is no objective reality, which leads us to subjective reality, which means that we all have our different vantages and perspectives in the way that we view the world. So um, although there is no objective reality, there is subjective reality, and uh, therein lies our differences with other people. Um, but there is one other kind of reality, and that's the shared social reality. And that's the one uh, us with schizophrenia need to make sure we uh, attend to. We have to stay rational in the social context. We must. Although we have our subjective uh, realities, just as other people have their subjective realities, and they don't you know, necessarily mesh perfectly, there is a shared social reality that meshes... 99.9 percent .9 pretty well and uh and it is that uh context that we have to uh, maintain our behavior and our social uh activity but is uh the nature of reality objective or subjective well there's no objective reality as of yet maybe it'll be figured out at one point but right now we dwell in quantum uh, quantum reality which is all about possibilities and probabilities without absolute certainties so we have our subjective realities, but please, please try to maintain social decorum in your behavior and your words when you're around others. And uh, that's the game changer with schizophrenia. So that's a little ditty on metaphysics. Albert Einstein, you know, I never read uh, Einstein. I uh, don't know if he wrote Beyond Mathematics. I'm sure he did. Um, but... Uh, he wanted to know the uh, like an ultimate equation to the universe. He he came close, but he didn't solve it. And uh, a lot of uh, science is now based off of his uh, theory of relativity. All right, so that's uh, that's it. A little ditty on uh, metaphysics. And uh, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time on the Unconquering uh, Schizophrenia YouTube channel. Go Red Sox. Go Red Sox.